Hi, uh, I'm Larry Lee. I'm one of the elders here at Diamond Canyon, and I'm here to share my story today at One at One. So my story, or my life journey, as I like to think of it, um, began in San Francisco. Uh, my mom uh, took me to church uh, for as, from a very early age, as long as I can remember, um, to uh, attend Sunday school and then uh, church services uh, after that. Uh, when I was in junior high, I accepted uh, the Lord Jesus as my Savior. And um, shortly thereafter, uh, both my sister and I, who were attending this, my mom's church, decided that we really didn't fit in at this church. Um, uh, so my mom didn't want to change churches, so both my sister and I just uh, stopped attending church. Um, so that began the uh, slow growth uh, phase of my Christian journey. Uh, I still maintained uh, my daily reading, my daily devotions, and uh, day, praying to God daily, but um, not attending church on Sundays uh, really limited my Christian growth. Um, so fast forward, um, after graduating from college, I moved from San Francisco down to Los Angeles. Um, I meet my wife, Jenny. Um, we get married. Um, that's um, fulfilled my promise to God to marry a Christian woman. So um, a few years into our marriage, uh, we were having dinner one night at a restaurant, and there was a uh, waitress that uh, invited us to her church. Uh, she was a new Christian. She'd been a Christian for about two months. She was excited, and she said, "Hey, um, would you like to attend my church?" and we said, yes, <laughs> we were looking for a church. We didn't know how to find a church. Uh, so uh, we visited her church and uh, we fit in very well with um, uh, this and joined a life group there. And um, it was a um, charismatic church, a vineyard church. Um, so the teachings were uh, not completely in line with uh, what we believed, but uh, I was able to learn a few things uh, while I was there. Um, uh, a couple of things come to mind. One, one being uh, prioritization of um, of life, um, placing God first, um, spouse second, and work third. Um, and it was a bit counterintuitive um, to place God ahead of spouse and expect to have a better marriage but I gave it a try we both gave it a try and it worked so um, praise God for that um, so um, also learned about baptism there and um, so we both got baptized um, and then we decided it was time to move on to uh, something um, we were used to uh, that, that we believed in um, and that was a Bible based church so um, uh, we uh, visited a lot of churches uh, and and we came across Diamond Canyon and um, we just uh, love the teaching here the uh, the Bible based uh, teaching the uh, worship was excellent so we said you know this this is going to be our home church and that was about year two thousand so um, I started reading the Bible more uh, I was. Uh, uh, inspired to uh, strengthen my relationship with God and I wanted to know God uh, at a more personal level so um, I decided to read the Bible in, in, in entirety and um, to learn about God that way and um, so as I read through the Old Testament I just searched for God's personality um, to understand Him um, as I went through the uh, New Testament, I just uh, uh, learned about God's personality through Jesus. And that was a very uh, enjoyable part of my journey. And um, another aspect of uh, that was very enjoyable was uh, the small groups at Diamond Canyon. Um, uh, we, in fact, we ended up, uh, Jenny and I ended up um, uh, starting a number of uh, life groups um, and um, it was kind of hard to uh, uh, 
get people to keep coming out to our house in San Dimas. Uh, so um, I moved into a different areas of ministries and um, here I am today. So I believe that right now I'm probably at the best part of my life journey. Um, I'm at, um, at a church with a wonderful teaching, uh, um, wonderful worship, and um, just the church family that the, the, that that is just excellent, and um, can't ask for anything more. So um, right now I'm sixty. I'm uh, been retired from work for a few years, um, but I'm not retired from ministry, and I don't plan to retire from ministry and my, the challenge I've made to myself is to continue in ministry as uh, long as I am physically and mentally able to um, uh, in, in some capacity. <laughs> um, so that's my challenge to myself. Um, I'd like to offer up a few challenges to you. Uh, one is uh, to be like my mom and bring children to uh, church um, bring consider bringing your extended family ch children in your extended family uh, children in your neighborhood your non-christian uh, friends of your children invite them to church and take the effort to bring them to church to learn about uh, Jesus at an early age uh, second challenge to consider is to be like that waitress. Uh, invite people to church. Uh, you never know when somebody's looking. Um, so that's another challenge to consider. A uh, uh, third challenge uh, is to consider my challenge, and that is to just stay in his ministry, um, serving him uh, in, uh, in whatever way you can. Um, even if it's only by prayer, that that's that's an important ministry very important ministry so do that <laughs> so that's my my story and um, uh, just wish you a very nice week uh, stay safe and god bless <laughs>